La 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 la. Come on. Uh, why is this all green? Fuck! This is radioactive. Abort! Abort! Why is nothing happening? Shit! I knew this was a trap. This is a radioactive roach motel for people. Fucking shit! I've got to get out of here. I don't want to die here sucking down gamma ray. Look out! What are you fucking morons doing here? Get out of here! I'm not the enemy. Radiation's the invisible enemy, and I'm lost and scared. Damn it! You know what the number one regret of dying people is? It's I regret playing near all that radioactive waste because now I'm fucking dying. Where am I? So are you guys fighting over me? Is that it? Hey, now there's a thought. Damn, the bottom part's locked. What is this? I think I did something. Shit, I think they noticed me. I am not real! Ah. None of this is real! Ah. This is all in your head! Follow the sound of my 50 caliber! Over here! How is this gun not shooting through a tool cabinet? Does Snap-on have a special tank-proof model or something? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm satisfied. Through the power of hypnotic suggestion and a tank, I was able to convince all these people they were dead. And let's be honest, whether they're real or not has no bearing on whether they should be real. Oh. Follow the happy ball! What could it be? Let's go take a look! No! You didn't- You were supposed to follow the happy ball, but you didn't! Now no one's happy! Yeah, that's right! Bet you wish you picked up the happy ball now, huh? Are you kidding me? Why is everybody standing here waiting for me? Fuck! That'll teach you to cave in the ceiling. Mm -mm. Blue space lasers coming in here acting like they own the planet. Ah! Give me a break! Okay, so what do we know about you? You're blue, you're dangerous, therefore... Ah! See, this is why I'm such a good theoretical physicist. I solve problems that shouldn't even exist to begin with. I still don't get it. The aliens kept coming at me one by one around the corner. That makes no tactical sense at all. They should have either all come at once or all held back to ambush me. I mean, I'm glad they didn't, but wow, they're not impressing me with their intelligence. In science fiction, the usual assumption is aliens are either just monsters or else way more advanced. There's not a whole lot of invading aliens that are just kind of stupid. Oh, is this another one of those giant lifts designed to move elephants underground or something? Yep, sure is. Okay, so where's the secret vent where the aliens pop out as soon as you start it? The last one was designed that way. May as well get a head start on it this time. Hey, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> Does this release the aliens? Oh, that's the door. I guess I should have realized that one. Actually, I don't know why I'm even worried. They'll just send the aliens after me one by one. When I turn the corner, that one alien seems surprised to see me. How can it not know I was there? I fired a tank. Okay, go, 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 go. Huh. Man, I hope I haven't screwed my DNA because of that radiation. No. Oh. I remember watching a documentary on Chernobyl, and it showed the camera crew going to the edge of the safe zone. Then, on the drive back, their Geiger counter kept clicking like crazy, and everybody had this oh shit look on their face. Because nobody factored in their car and gear absorbing the radiation. Stop distracting me! Ah! No, no, no! Ah! Slime! Yeah, I'm not understanding this invasion at all. I mean, it's obvious at least some of these teleportations are no accident. 
Then why am I fighting alien wildlife? That would be like if we dropped in a bunch of stray dogs and badgers into a war zone. Sure, it would- WAH! Would cause some problems, but nothing significant. Definitely not worth the energy to actually teleport something. It must take a lot. Now maybe these aliens carry viruses they thought would spread. Oh, nice. But if so, Black Mesa is the worst place to hit. Low population, lots of lockdowns, in the middle of a desert. It's stupid. Maybe humanity is just much better at invading than aliens are. We've had a lot of practice. Yep. Although we've been acting pretty stupid ourselves. Okay, what is this? Do I really want to go in this door? No. No, I don't. If I only had gotten that tank to move. I, I can't think about it. It just depresses me. Yeah. I'm about 95% sure this scientist didn't kill himself to paint the floor with his own blood as part of a performance art piece he was doing. Even engineering wouldn't do something like that. The hell with it. If I turned around every time I saw a dead body and a huge blood trail, well, I'd probably be a lot safer right now, but I wouldn't be any closer to getting out of here, so. Yeah, damn. I'm not a crime scene specialist, but I think we can rule out nosebleed. Well, maybe if he sneezed there, no, no. Well, I don't see any casings or bullet holes. So what was the cause of <laughs> ninjas? Damn it, of course, that's like rule number one. It's Occam's shuriken. When the answer is elusive, never rule out ninjas. Where are they? Shit, where are they coming from? <laughs> See, that one dropped in from nowhere. I should expect that. But at the same time, I can't expect that because they're ninjas. As soon as I expect it, they won't do it. Ninjas understand quantum mechanics better than people realize. That was a controversial part of my dissertation. Shit, is that all of them? Truly, I'll never know. Science is no help here. You can never prove the absence of ninjas, only their direct presence. Well, this must be how they're getting in here. Hell, if I could climb this, so can a ninja. This also confirms what I saw yesterday was real because I thought I saw ninjas. But that was kind of fuzzy in my head. But here they are, without a doubt. I need to stop doubting my own sanity because I'm still right about everything. Oh my God, did I hit that one? Shit. Damn, you're spooky. Yeah, you can't double back on ninjas. You have to triple back. Yeah. Whoa, ah. I can't even really be sure if the ninjas I've shot are actually dead. They could just be faking it. They don't seem to have much armor, so they can't take the 12 gauge, but the 9 millimeter? I don't ah! Jesus Christ! I cannot be too careful. And I'm not! But yeah, I remember reading about those Colombian drug lords buying designer clothes that were bulletproof against low caliber shots. Eh, not this way. So it wouldn't surprise me one bit if ninja suits had something similar woven into them. You know, I'm gonna freak out if I come back and all the bodies are gone. Okay, that's one. Any more ninjas? There's two. No, I don't get it. They seem to be wearing night vision goggles. If I was a ninja, like a legit one, I would start shooting out the lights. That would be a big advantage. But I'm not gonna tell them how to do their job. Death can be a learning experience. But really, in all likelihood, this is how I'm going to die. Not today. I'm strapped and wired as shit right now. But hey, maybe a year from now, 10 years, it's almost a certainty ninjas are gonna track me down and try and kill me. It's a matter of honor now. Ha! And really, it's no surprise given my lifestyle. I'd hardly be the first. Who's the Italian one? Ettore Majorana. Brilliant theoretical physicist, friends with Heisenberg, wasn't much older than me before he was killed by ninjas. Ah! You're not a ninja! I'm not pretending! Ow! Ah! 
damn it! You tricked me into killing you in a really loud way! Well, what are you complaining about? You have a helmet? This is bullshit. We need to nuke this whole place as soon as I'm out. God damn Christ, I'm running light on bullets because every one of you bastards are built like jacked up space bouncers. I'm starting to think your species communicates only through a series of body lifts and squat thrusts. Oh, what the fuck is that? Somebody else trying to take a shot at me? Here you go. Ah, damn. I kind of botched that. Stupid railing. Are they still there? Well, I woke them up at the very least. I should move in for a closer shot while they meditate, or... I, I don't know what they're doing. I apologize, ah! Mr. Freeman, but I couldn't risk opening that door until I was sure you'd scoured the area. It's you! It's the last entrance to the Lambda Complex. Every other has been sealed off to contain the invasion. That won't work. When we work. realized that you might actually make it here, we drew straws to see who should stay behind and let you through. Obviously, I drew the short one. Okay, okay, I won't are kill you. The tip of the Lambda reactor, waiting for you, I mean. What? The reactor is shut down right now, but you can activate it on your way up. No. You'll have to flood the core anyway to get into the teleportation lab. Teleport. You're not authorized to know about those. But I can see you already know a great deal more than any one man is supposed to. Yeah, story of my life. What the hell are you talking about teleportation labs? Do we have a room to study this already? Is this it? No. Okay, well first off, that containment shit isn't going to work. They're teleporting. We need to leave. Access denied. Hey, your thing's broken. Yeah, you take a look at it. But seriously, how are you going to seal off monsters teleporting in from the air? You think if you deadbolt the door, that'll do it? You're safe? And what was all that crap about a reactor and flooding it or something? Everyone here is talking like I've missed some sort of briefing. Were you in weapons research too? Sure. I built the glue on gun, but I just can't bring myself to use it on a living creature. You don't look as if you have any trouble killing things. Yeah, this blood's not coming off, is it? So what'd you say this was? A prototype leaf blower? I don't know, man. This thing's pretty heavy and I'm already carrying a load. I may not be able to haul this too far. Nice! Looks like plasma. Okay, I'll try it. Is this the ammo? Well, as long as it's sealed. So, uh, hey, what's this do? Oh shit! I need to conserve ammo! I'm not dealing with this! You handle it! Your lab, your rules! Bye! Sometimes I wonder if I could have done things differently. Man, I don't get why that guy didn't just run out of the room. I guess he thinks he's badass enough to take on the aliens without the use of weapons. That seems kind of stupid to me. Whoa! Th okay, first things first. Did anything follow me? No. So what the fuck is this? This is what containment looks like? Or was he just carrying a grenade and tripped? Yeah, I can hear them! They're already here! Wow, this thing works great! I don't know why the inventor didn't want it. What was that? Aha! Ah Jesus! Okay. So I think what we can conclude here is blue energy is superior to green energy. And bees, but that was already one of our assumptions. Whoa. Sir? I could have fried you, but you're wearing blue, so I guess that's a sign. Hey, you don't- Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. I mean, I don't see you trying to stop me, and I need that I ammo. get my hands on the guy responsible for this mess. Well, that's a complicated question. I think Black Mesa has evolved as a group consciousness so that no individual truly knows what he's doing. Like this guy. Freeman, isn't it? Recognize. You'll need to activate both pumps what? to flood the no. reactor. And then that access pipe down there will take you to the core. No. Time is short. I'm not the maintenance man. You have bad information. And what reactor? Is this it? The one with the big crack in it? We're not on the same page here. Look at me. Actually, hold up. I'll take this stuff off your hands for you. Okay, so you just stay here and keep staring at the wall. You're good at that. Biological force is 
detected in primary coolant system. Biological force in the coolant system. Well, there's the problem. An alien must have teleported inside it. Oh, that target range time is gonna pay off today. Even down a magazine, huh? Hey, I didn't notice that blood stain before, Mr. Target Range. Yeah, the splatter looks like it came from here. Holy shit, you shot somebody, didn't you? I guess you're not a pushover. That's not alien blood. I don't know if we should go any further. This doesn't look right. Yeah, I bet you don't want me looking any further into this. But if you shot him, where's the body? Oh, there he is. So you killed him. Those aliens were just feeding on him. Yeah, he's not even armed. Wow, I'm gonna watch my back around here. I don't want any surprises from Captain Triggerfinger over there. I mean, the other people who shot at me, I mostly knew it was coming. But this... Shit. Civilization's falling apart pretty fast. I mean, that's kind of scary shooting the scientist. I'm a scientist. The guards aren't on our side. They're on their side. Oh, God. This place is dangerous. And nobody knows what they're doing. There's probably going to be a congressional hearing about us later asking, how did this happen? And every single person is going to say, uh, uh, uh. Okay, did that guard shoot these guys too? Do they have any bullet holes in them? Actually, I don't want to know. Some people thrive in chaos a little too much. Everyone else sees disaster. He sees a human shooting gallery. Oh, no. Yeah, what? You were going to cover up for him? I don't know. I've killed people too. But the difference is I didn't kill them because they were alive. I needed a reason? Ah! I really like how the- Whoa, what was that? Somebody's up there. I am so certain I am not hallucinating this time. And I have a gun! I can prove it! See? Shit! I'm spent! Quit complaining about the reactor! I found the contaminant! Is he running from me? This one has brains! We could solve that problem. Shut up! I wonder if he was filming me. Well, I'm taking off this plasma pack. It's amazing, but I need to fire it for more than 10 seconds total. Ah, that's better. Yeah, it's a prototype. It only lasts for 10 seconds and weighs at least 50 pounds, but man, it makes things explode. We could have sold it to the military without any further improvements. I especially liked how the aliens I hit with it became totally stunned with this, oh, my shit is getting wrecked face. Okay, any surprises? No. Oh, damn it! <sighs> I still think some of the aliens are teleporting inside the walls. Danger. Danger! Detected in radioactive material and Shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! That one almost went inside me! Oh! What? Cross dimensional power. No, wait, what is this? Okay, no access. I believe them. So. Oh, a switch. Maybe this will fix everything. Oh! Is that what this switch does? Right! Okay, one more, I'm shutting it off. I didn't know this was a monster generator. That's a terrible idea. Oh, this is just a pump. I guess this is all just a terrifying coincidence. Jesus, I'm getting low on bullets. I have one spare mag, then I'm out. The scientists probably don't keep any spares on them. Dimensional contamination. Dimensional contamination. There we go again. Whoever set up this intercom system clearly wanted to fight me. I keep hearing dimensional power, dimensional contamination. What the fuck are they talking about? I'm pretty sure these aliens are three dimensional. Probably from somewhere deep in space, but space isn't another dimension. Does somebody here think they're Buckaroo Banzai? But okay, let's say the teleportation event represents cross-dimensional activity. How do we know this? Have we figured all this out in the past two days during a panic? 
and invented and set up cross-dimensional detectors around the facility like they're smoke alarms, and set up and networked an intercom system to inform us when one happens? If so, wow, color me impressed. That's pretty good considering your reactor is down and you have a rogue security guard dancing through the halls and shooting your science team. I wouldn't be able to get work done under those conditions. Silly me, I thought it was turning into Lord of the Flies around here. Okay, I've already been here. Yeah, I guess this way. But yeah, these announcements aren't fooling me. We're on the brink. I bet if I wait a few hours then come back, that security guard will be wearing a necklace made out of ears and painting pictures of demons or some crap on the walls with the scientist's blood. And then he's gonna take... Hmm... Well... Shit. You know, all this concrete dust is a breathing hazard. Nah. Danger. Danger. Uh, energy exchange detected in radioactive materials handling bay. Radioactive materials. Oh, Jesus. That just gave me a horrible thought. No, no. We can't be that stupid. Please. No. Oh, this isn't so bad. This column is clearly waiting for me to pass, then it will collapse so I can die of thirst or starvation. Maybe I already am and don't even know it yet. No, you don't have to feed me bees, it's not that bad. Okay, can your alien intellect figure out how doors work? Oh, they're thinking about it. Maybe it's too hard for them, since it's motion censored. Yeah, they couldn't figure it out. Well, good job trying to ambush me. Almost. Hey, I'm getting low on shells, so you know what that means. Hey, I don't like this any more than you do. Rockets for tanks and attack choppers are no-brainers. Frankly, it's a bit much for you. But what am I supposed to do? I'm low on ammo and you're running across the room. Huh, guess I won't die of thirst. But yeah, what am I supposed to do? Go hand-to-hand -hand with the bodybuilder aliens? Yeah, that'd be smart, wouldn't it? I suppose that'd be the honorable thing to do. But honor doesn't really apply to me. I mean, look at the- OH MY GOD! Well, thanks for testing the tensile strength of the catwalk, but your services are no longer required. Yeah, just ignore gunfire. That works for me. Wow. All right, so I guess the aliens have lowered their standards for shock troopers. I mean, that alien was obviously high. He falls off a ledge. He doesn't care, he's high. I shoot him in the head. He doesn't care, he's high. <laughs> he's a galactic stoner. But yeah, while the resource allocation does concern me, I'm not going to lose sleep over bringing a rocket launcher to a B fight. Um, okay, maybe this does something. Yeah, the thing is, fighting honorably and winning are incompatible goals. In World War II, the Japanese tried to do it honorably, but even they knew it wasn't gonna work. Like when they hit Pearl Harbor. The idea... Come on. The idea was attacking the USA unaware would be dishonorable. So they tried warning us half an hour before it happened. But their military delayed that message until 20 minutes after it happened. Fuck! So I guess they kept their honor on a technicality? Like the ball was on the goal line and there were three seconds left on the clock, therefore the Pearl Harbor attack was honorable or something? Yeah, what the hell am I talking about? This is my last pistol magazine. Of course I used the right weapon. More guns, less madness. Okay, what's the story on this guy? Did he blow his brains out? I hope he left some bullets behind. But it's hard to say. Knowing our staff, he probably missed a few times trying to aim for his head. No, I don't see anything. Okay, another pump. I was trying not to think about this. I don't exactly know what this switch does, but I need to pull it right now. Because if I'm wrong, I made some parts move around and some lights flash. Doesn't matter. But if I'm right about this, oh my god. Being right about everything is a curse. Let's look at the evidence. 
We have a staff member getting snippy with me about a reactor. We have that intercom talking about biological contaminants. We have those red pump warning lights. And we have the building literally falling apart. I think we have a nuclear reactor down here. An alien teleported inside it. Now it's broken. And it's going to melt down unless I flood it with coolant. I mean, somebody tell me I'm wrong. That a team of top researchers are not so tragically obtuse that we pass off a fucking China syndrome as just one of those things. <laughs> the scientist trying to give me orders was slightly annoyed. He wasn't somber or panicked at all. Yeah, a meltdown is really annoying. I get it. I think I'm the only person here who understands how serious this is. I hope I'm wrong, but this is all too plausible. Even though we have a dam, we use as much power as a city. I can believe we have a nuclear reactor here also. Plus, these are my colleagues who thought sealing off the entrance would contain random teleportations. They drew straws to decide who would let me in. Now that I am in, I'm sure the prevailing theory being discussed behind my back is that all these aliens just showed up during the two minutes they left the door open and I walked in. This is my fault, of course. I know what's happening here. I've seen this a hundred times. This reeks of groupthink. You have one normally brilliant person make a stupid decision and everyone else just falls in line, doesn't question anything. These people aren't scientists, they're cultists with advanced degrees. I guess I'll go talk to the reactor guy. Find out just how long we have to live. Show me your hands or I'll blow your fucking head off! Yeah, try me, psycho breath. Our luck has to change sooner or later. What's that supposed to mean? No, don't answer that! I'm not letting you get inside my mind! Fucking psycho Kurt serial killing security guard. Hey, we need to talk. Don't linger, Mr. Freeman. You've turned on the pumps. Now take the access pipe, flood the core, and get on up to the labs without delay. Oh, so now you're talking like there's some urgency. The ramifications are starting to sink in, huh? Well, I saved your ass, and everyone else's. If you clowns had just said the word meltdown, we could have saved a lot of time. Your communication skills are horrible. I swear, I'm the only person in this building who's not an idiot savant. Lambda, complex, or dimensional, dimensional. What the hell is this? What do you think it is, Pop-Tart? It's me pointing a 12 gauge at your face. You may think you're hard because you plugged the scared old man, but try that number on me and watch what happens. I didn't come all this way just to get shot in the back of the head by some bored rent-a-cop. If the ninjas took me out, there would at least be some dignity to that. With you, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, is this the reactor? Is your name Reactor? Hey, this is a misunderstanding! Jesus! I'm not even sure I have the right room! Ugh. Damn it, I'm out! Hi! How are you not... Good God, I didn't realize the aliens made this their bathhouse! Ugh. What the fuck?! You weren't there and now you're real! This is Innsbruck all over again! Go back! To nothing! That's where you belong! Okay, I'm gonna stay in my corner. Then to sneak up on me, you have to teleport into a wall. So fuck you. You know what the difference is between my hallucinations and other people's? My hallucinations shoot back at me and kill other people. You know, maybe I should keep moving, because they probably will teleport behind me, then collapse the building. Then they win, because they're aliens, so who cares, and I'm dead. So is this the reactor room, or what? It looks pretty flooded to me. Jeez, that's a lot of blood on the wall. I don't think the aliens did that. The splatter velocity's too high. Oh, there's an entrance there. Shit, that's kind of deep. I guess this suit lets me sink down pretty fast. I don't know. The stakes are pretty high, but oh my god. How did I not see this? Am I blind? This kit might have morphine. Yes, here it is, morphine sulfate. Ah. 
Yeah, I'll start feeling this soon. Oh my god, did I need this. This is fucking perfect. All right, let's get the blood flowing so this kicks in. Cold swim should do just the trick. Time to go save the world. I don't think I'm feeling it yet. Maybe, I don't know. Radiation, well, I'm either getting a little bit or a lifetime supply. <gasps> well, this could be the reactor. Honestly, we own so much huge machinery, I have no idea. <sighs> okay, that's partially flooded. Soon I'll be able to get back to long-term panic instead of all this short-term panic. <gasps> it's flooded! I'm a hero! What the hell? Man, fuck you! I just saved your life from a meltdown! I'm a hero! You can't zap me like that, I'm a hero. Yeah. Jesus. Electricity does not respect my heroism. Well, I guess climbing out of here is a good idea, right? Right. I don't get it. Why is there so much arc- ah! 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 Uh, Maybe being on a metal ladder isn't so smart either. Especially since I'm still wet. Uh, okay, I didn't feel much. I guess my boots have some insulation in them. Or maybe it's the morphine. Hmm. All right, time to go jump and... <laughs> Shit, I think I made a mistake. I don't think I flooded the reactor. I think this is the generator, goddammit. Why would we flood that? That would just be dangerous and break things. Ah, I've got to get out of this torture chamber. I don't need electroshock therapy! I already have my- ah! Fucking shit! I'm getting out of here before it melts through the door. I'm feeling pretty good though. I haven't felt this good since yesterday when I got to the surface and thought I was going to leave. Except then the military started bombing the place. Then I felt bad. Hey, supplies. I like supplies. Okay, not the radioactivity. I have enough of that. Thank you. No. Hey, this looks civilized. Where does this go? Ah. Okay, where's the button? Oh, there is no button. It must be on the outside. We design a lot of elevators like that. Oh, I see. The button doesn't work. We design a lot like that, too. Okay, I could climb. An old-fashioned elevator. The kind that's powered by ladders. What was that? Well, where's the... Oh, come on, guys. You could design this better. All right. I'm... Batman. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, this is great. Supplies! I like supplies. Let's get some supplies. Oh, wow. More drugs. I, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good now. Okay, I'll take this. That's... yeah. I don't know. I might overdose. What do you think, Mr. Crate? Yeah, you always know what to say. I better play it safe. Oh, wow. What the fuck are you? Sir? You're blue. That's a tragedy, really. You look like all the others. I should go and fix that for you. I'd like to get Stop mumbling. Hey, Gordon. Oh, wow. You know my name. That's amazing. Well, you should. I'm a hero. Oh. Yep. All that target range time is going to pay off today. You're right. Why fight temptation? Yeah, I can handle some more. I'm a hero. Morphine administered. Fuck yeah. I am ready to face... Everything. Feeling a little drowsy, but that's cool. Very chill. What's this? Okay. 
I think I just watched some guy kill himself by walking into the portable sun. I didn't know we had one of those. Or that they even existed. Whoa! Wake up time! Ha! I didn't even feel that! Hey, how are you doing? I feel great. Hey, I've got to ask you something. What do you know about nuclear fusion? Nothing, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh! Now you! I know you don't know anything. Hey, listen. These monsters are interrupting my train of thought. So you need to talk to the administrator and tell him to stop it, all right? Just stop it. We've got enough monsters for at least nine weeks. This is total overkill. I was meant to turn this. That did something. Radiation has They're bluffing. Ah. I wanted to see the portable sun. How did we do that? That's fusion power. And we have it here all tucked. Whoa! Oh shit. No, I don't think I trust this yet. It glows. Buttons! No. Jesus Christ, what am I looking at? Is this a star? Did we create a fucking star in a box somehow? I didn't feel any heat off it. Did we figure out cold fusion? Cold fusion has been the butt of physics jokes forever. It's an embarrassment. Isn't it in the Journal of Irreproducible Results? But you know what? I bet those guys didn't have spinning energy balls just hovering and trying to read my mind. Why am I seeing more of these down here? This is obviously just a storage area. Maybe I took too much morphine. But fuck that, I can walk in everything. And I feel so good. Buttons! Dooba da ba dooba da ba da ba da. If it's cold fusion, how come I'm not in this department? There must be an explanation. This is my explanation? I don't understand. This is too interpretive. I don't have to take this. I'm a hero. Hey, are you an oracle? No, you don't look like one. Hey, this is just like Dirty Harry. The long range scene. No, wait, it was one of the sequels. That's my favorite Dirty Harry movie. The one where he guns down the giant monster with the tentacle arms. Make my day, squid face. Ah, uh, you're not as big as the one in the movie. I feel like skipping through the hallway. It's a nice big one. Oh, what's in here? Aww. Maybe I won't skip. It's kind of heavy with the suit and the guns and bang and more bang. Bang, bang. And kaboom and oh boy. Blah, blah. Bugs. Man, you guys made this hallway all dirty. Why'd you do that? It was nice and... Squeaky clean before you showed up. It made me want to roll around in it. I don't want to do that anymore. Well, this is a little better. Where am I lab at? Bah. Ah, okay. I think I figured out what this place is. This is where we take all the VIPs looking to fund the place. There are labs, but they're all a little too clean. Well, shit, not this one. What the hell happened here? That splatter mark looks like this guy fell two stories. How does somebody trip like that? And we're leaking radiation. This is not part of the tour. But yeah, we take the VIPs here, show them the energy balls. They don't know anything, so they're impressed and give us more money. When the reality is they're holograms. I'm sure of it. Yeah, see, look at that pad underneath. These are holograms. Wow, a lot of them. Those rotating platforms are cool too. Yeah, this would impress the hell out of me if I didn't know anything. In fact, it still impresses me, because I'm kind of high? Yeah! Oh wow, this looks dangerous. Yeah, there's a certain percentage of the public that believes unless you have robots or glowing lights, that science isn't happening. But we have both! That's why we're so well funded! Some people expect chemistry sets and dry ice fog, but I think we have some rooms for that too. Okay, I'm gonna test my theory like a true scientist on drugs. Ta da! I didn't feel anything at all. Okay, I'm gonna walk. Yeah, it's totally a hologram. 
Well, I could stare at these a long time, the way I'm feeling right now, but I still don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Whoa, wait, something happened. Okay, I guess I came in through this door? Why did I lock this? Shit. Did I black out again? Why am I standing? Memory. So what do I remember? I remember- I remember gas filling the room. Ghost. The wizard. Oh! Oh, wow. That? That would have hurt. Uh-oh. Open up the reactor. Hold it right so we can get there. Down to safety. I'm sorry, but those doors will not open until we send the all clear. A ventriloquist. So send it already. I would love to do that, but the aerial bombardment has made a wreck of my transmitter. The cables are severed. We'd have to aim it by hand, and I'm getting high radiation levels in the transmitter dome. Nobody but a fool would go in there. I pity the what fool. What about this guy? Yes. You could survive in that suit of yours. Very well. I will lower security on the satellite access elevator, and you can go up into the dome. No. I'll try to help you over the intercom. Whoa, whoa. Who are you? I'm Gordon. I can do both your jobs. You people talk like you know what you're doing, but you don't. Oh, loading bay. That's good. What? What are you aiming at? Man, you two are higher than I am. You're all just fronting. I've seen too much of that. I'll stay here and guard this area. Yeah, keep us safe from the empty elevator, Scooby. I'm leaving. Like I said, they're going down to safety. Going down isn't safe. Going up isn't safe. Those two are probably dead by now. Getting away from here could be more safe. I think the president has pretty good security. Hey, maybe I could disguise myself to... No, wait, that wouldn't work. I would need a professional makeup artist. Eddie can't do makeup for shit. Well, I would have preferred another snack machine, but you know, sugar's the same as food, right? Hey, wait, I don't have to pay for this. And Black Mesa, I am king of the vending machines. Yeah, yeah, oh, ow, shit. Okay, whoa. Jesus, this is bad soda, I'm not drinking that. Let me out of here, Captain Woody of the Box Brigade. I've seen you before. I can't decide if I'd rather have food or more bullets. I'm not eating this thing, I know that much. Hey! This is an illegal gathering of three or more freaks. Ooh, bet you're glad I got this old sidearm on me, aren't you? You didn't fire a single shot. Are you being serious, sir? Yeah, my hero. Bet you don't have one of these, huh? Does this bug you? You didn't even blink. Jesus. What are you? Never mind. Just don't make me kill us both, okay? I hate when that happens. Oh, here we go. Some magazines. This will buy me at least five more minutes of life. I wonder if insurance rates for Black Mesa survivors go up. Like, adjusters would say if you're in one alien invasion, that means you're at risk for another. Ah, who am I kidding? There's not gonna be any survivors. Like, even with the military, I don't see that happening. Oh, wow, you're no fun. I'll show you the meaning of fun. Yeah. Are we having fun yet? Sure looks like it. Uh, the laser tag extreme fun zone. Oh, you think I don't see you? That will enhance the fun. Well, everybody likes surprises. Quick, painless surprises. Surprise! What the? You must have got a dud. I'm sorry. Let's try again. Hooray! Sorry for ruining the surprise. I know it's never as good trying to do it again. But I think we can agree that the results are what I wanted. I think surprises where people end up dead are always the biggest ones. Oh man, aren't these guys done already? Man, you guys shooting me isn't helping my aim any. There we go. Thanks. Hello? Ah? Yes, that's good. Yes, run towards my gunshots. That helps me out a lot. You have no idea. So did I miss anyone? 
Raise your hand if I did it. Okay, well, I can't tell if you're just a voice in my head, so you don't count. So, yeah, I don't see the soldiers surviving this, even without me. Like, the theory is that this is a cover-up, which I still think makes no sense. It's too big. That's like trying to cover up the president being assassinated. Oh yeah, the president's fine. He totally did not get his head blown apart on national television. But fine, we're gonna cover this up. But the thing is, ooh. Oh sweet, this is a great idea. I can see why they built it this way. I'm not doing anything the warehouse workers haven't done a hundred times already. Ah. Hey, stop it, cargo commando. I hear something. Oh, they just bombed their own troops again. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, they're bombing. I'm outside. I didn't even notice. Jesus, how is it night already? Well, that's it. I blacked out. There's no other explanation. This is what happens when I play pharmacist. Although, I still feel pretty great. Squad quiet down. Negative. All right, works for me. I'm happy to know where everyone is. You are there. Ah, ah, and I am here. I think that's about the best communication I'm gonna have with the military. They can't even spell my name right, but it's all right. Again, no one's gonna leave here alive, especially not the soldiers. Yeah. Are these secret documents? What was I doing? I don't remember. But yeah, the thing about the soldiers is that this is a cover-up. The government already doesn't trust its top secret researchers in the country. So why is it gonna trust its special forces? See, look at that. I bet they didn't even identify me. I bet I could disguise myself in one of their uniforms and it wouldn't make a damn bit of difference. There has been a lot of friendly fire around here. Okay, that's it. If you can't behave yourself, you can have a timeout, mister. What was that? Okay, let's keep it that way. So besides these soldiers tripping over themselves to kill each other before I do, they may have bigger problems. <clears throat> because if they're doing the cover-up job, somebody else is going to cover up the cover-up job. Okay, I like what I'm seeing here. I'm over here! Perfect! I love these guys that run towards me! They are a dying breed. I think that's the last of them. Come and check out the noise! Oh. Is that guy waving at me? Yeah, head to the left! I saw him over there! Okay, that's the last of them. Oh! You're pulling that shit on me? Um, I am so confused. Did that guy run into his own grenade? Or did somebody in the shadows throw one at him? Or was he just charging me suicide bomber style and get his timing wrong? Is that how we train them? As suicide bombers? So many questions. Yeah, something's definitely off with this cover-up operation. Yeah, nobody's here. With this much friendly fire, I don't think it's an accident. What the hell? Yeah, I'm still here. Yep, they just blew up another guy with their own grenade. I should turn this light off. I wish I had a walkie-talkie so I could just throw that down and transmit my voice so they would all open fire blindly and shoot each other. I mean, we're halfway there already. They're not what I would call discriminant. Yep. All these bodies and gunshots are trying to ruin my mood. But it's gonna take more than that. I have the power of chemistry on my side. Anyway, what the fuck did I just see? It's like the soldiers were waiting until I showed up, then executed the scientist in front of me. I mean, why bother? I don't know these people. I know this was directed at me, because there's no way they didn't hear all the gunshots and explosions prior to this. This smells better than I thought, but still bad.
Okay, I'm coming up with three possible options for what's going on here with the military. Now the first option... Um... What was I thinking about? Ah! Maybe this is a bad time for me to be spacing out. Is this a closet? Hello? Can you let me in? I tried blowing up your door, but it didn't work. Wait a minute, and I'll let you in. Who said that? Where are you? Oh, that must be the ghost. He sounds different than I imagined. Hey, it's Neon Green. Do they throw raves in here? The acoustics would suck. Oh, it's radioactive. Well, at least it's click, click, and not clicky, click, 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 click. I can still cut that shit out, though. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. So option one is this is a cover-up and the troops are being covered up too. Like one out of every five troops is secretly a merc and his job is to kill the other troops. Then they'll bomb the place to kill the mercs. Then they'll kill the bomber pilot. And then write this all up as a plane accident. Why not? Freeman. Whoa. You'll want to work quickly. Tune the transmitter to the USNRC. I repeat. Tune to the USNRC. Okay, Ghost, I guess you know what's best. So option two is everybody's on drugs. Combat time is drug time. Shoot anybody you want. It's cool, he's high too. Get high before you die. That's my favorite theory. Excellent. I'm sending the all clear and the doors should open now. We'll meet you down below. No, wait, I don't want to die yet. Fuck. Down you go. Yeah, kiss the floor, asshole! <sighs> That's good. Carry on. Shit, I don't think I can trust the ghost anymore. I hope he stops talking to me. I wasn't really prepared for that. A bunch of people bursting in trying to kill me? That's something I've always been preparing for. Mentally, anyway. But a ghost mildly harassing me and giving me bad advice is just a whole other kind of hell. Especially here. I don't need another hell inside my existing hell. Hell squared is still hell. What the hell is this? All right, they're either sealing me in or they're breaching. Somebody thinks they're big and bad because they're a welder, but I'm not gonna take their shit either way. Back at you! Okay, I think that slowed them down. Yeah, you'll think twice before doing that again, especially since you're a skull. So how do I lift up this giant concrete slab? Is there like a switch? I'm not feeling one. Uh... I can't fit through this hole. Stupid ghost. Yeah, I can't lift this. We should have designed the suit to have pneumatic jacks built into the arms. Can I climb out of here? No, it doesn't reach the ceiling. Maybe I should stop this gas filling the room, huh? I'm glad they have a valve here to stop it. This must happen often. Oh, this is new. Yeah, this was sealed. There was no hatch. Why would we build a ladder going up to a grate you can't open? Is this a dungeon? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> like the ladder is just to tease the prisoners to thinking they can see the sky through the grate. Except it's a trick because they're still inside a dome. To be seriously wounded. Yeah, don't touch me. I don't think I can last much longer. Well, this is a dungeon. Stop! What? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Were you using that ammo? Could have fooled me. So those are literally your last words. Screaming at somebody not to touch your stuff. Boy, you lived a fulfilling life, huh? Okay. That's definitely more than one ghost. What am I looking at? No. Hey, you're a witness. Fuck, this is even more radioactive. This is exactly the clicking I don't want to be hearing. I don't like performing Dance of the Geiger Counter. Hey, uh... Oh, okay, you're busy. That's good. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Perfect. I could use some popcorn for this. I want to fire your gun there. No? Okay, that's just me. 
This guy is giving a performance. I respect that. I should get a good grip in case his body hits me on the way down. Aha! Someone's spying on me! I knew it! Or maybe he's motioning for me to follow him, but I'm not going to. Hey, what the hell? It was just a zombie making you move around like it's a giant puppet show. I don't like the implications of this. All they've been doing so far is running into walls and acting angry at the world. And now they're playing Punch and Judy with the bodies. The other was dragging it around like it was a teddy bear. <laughs> I don't know if it's a sign of growing intelligence or something else. Well, you don't disappoint. You don't change a bit. I can always count on you to be horrible. Simple and horrible. Excuse me? I thought I heard someone. Someone green. Or maybe I really have caught a bullet in the head and I'm hearing colors now. I don't think synesthesia is contagious, but the sky's the limit when you've got head trauma. Anyway, if the zombies are getting smarter, I think the next logical step is for them to steal the soldiers' uniforms and pretend to be one of them. They would get shot, but the soldiers shoot each other anyway. I estimate the zombies would have about a 50% success rate at infiltrating us if they tried that. The soldiers would look at them and think they're sick, or... Well, I don't know what goes through their heads. Ah. No, you go first. It's cool. I can wait. This is not a line I'm in a rush to get through. It just really doesn't pay to be in front here. If I thought I could pull it off, I would put the zombie in my suit and just march him out here. The military would kill him, then say, yep, we got Freeman. Our job's done here. I'm pretty sure they would buy it. I mean, look at... Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Option three, the most likely option. Yeah! People keep interrupting me. But yeah, option three is the military is rock stupid. Like, frightening stupid. Like, crash planes in the buildings, bomb your own troops, and shoot half your squad stupid. Oh, whoops, I killed the wrong guy again. Like, maybe the only soldiers that aren't literally retarded either have non-combative duty or else they're overseas. So what I'm seeing is all that's left. This isn't that hard. I mean, come on, these are walking green tasers. I don't think I want to wait on this crowd. See, this is what I mean. That guy was just walking casually in the center of the room, exposed. Did he have headphones on? Have music playing so loud you can't hear gunshots? They might sell earbuds like that. I'm not sure. Must have been pretty good music, since I'm assuming he had his eyes closed since there were green bolts of electricity flying around. Or maybe that just happened to fit the beat so that he didn't give it much conscious thought until it was too late. Music sues even the spaced out marine who forgot he was in the middle of a war zone, apparently. Shit, if I could document this, I could publish this as a research paper on the way out the door. Because that's how I roll. I lose my job, I have a research paper before I'm out the building. Oh wait, shit. I'm a fugitive and I killed a lot of people. I forgot. So I guess that guard broke the door because he was bored. Where do I go now? Come on, there has to be a ventilation shaft here somewhere. What's this? Is this a security station? No, this is for mixing music. Maybe the guard's a DJ on the side. There has to be a shaft. We have great airflow here. In all my time at Black Mesa, I've never seen anyone suffocate in their office or black out because of carbon dioxide poisoning. That hasn't been true at all jobs I've worked at. Oh, you broke it good, huh? How did- Oh! Oh, so you herded them there. You really are a space rancher. That's awesome. Well, I hate to do this to you, but I have to put them down. I need you to step over here. Yeah, come on, Wagglejaw. I'll be humane about this. Not that I care about that, but I do care about quick, so our goals are the same. What the hell? How did I miss that? Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen, and now I've spooked the animals. So let's just do this the traditional way. Our colleague down in the dungeon would have wanted this. Or maybe he just wanted to be buried with his shotgun shells. But what do we care? He's dead. 
Now, does this work? Yep, here we go. You watching this? Oh, yeah. Oh! Whoa! Christ. I got a little carried away there. Glad nothing ricocheted at me. And now the job gets more complicated. See, it was better when you were all packed together. I mean, come on, safety in numbers, right? Exactly. I spoke too soon. Now, are there any more of you here? Drinking some soda? No? Well, I have to say, I'm impressed. That guy herded six of them into this hallway. That takes talent. I wasn't the only one thinking outside the box. You know, one of my regrets about leaving here is I didn't get to do all the experiments I wanted. Like I wanted to slip Rohypnol into the coffee pot for a few weeks and observe how that affected people's work habits. Ah! Oh, you're not real. <laughs> Man, you two aren't dead yet? Oh, right, I just saved you. You're welcome. You can pay me, you know. Freeman, I take cash. Who would have thought you'd still be alive? Oh, funny man, you're saying that to me. Well, you are cowering in my presence appropriately, so I guess I can't be too hard on you. Okay, you get to live. But I'm gonna need you to stand there and smack yourself in the head repeatedly, all right? Bring it on. Who's he talking to? Hey, Gordon. There's no one here. It can't get any worse than this, can it? Uh, no, this is the absolute worst it can get. I can't mm. imagine anything worse than what you've seen. You have any idea what's going on? Oh my god, you people are all hopeless. You say that like a bored kid wanting to know what time lunch is. I can't help you. You shouldn't have even made it this far in life. You lack basic problem solving skills. That's so fundamental. You need to be in a home. Okay, good. This doesn't even have a code, so I don't need you. You're gonna die here. I'm sorry. There's no way it's... Shit, something's happening. I think I'm having flashbacks. Is someone there? Oh, God. I... I can't see a thing. Okay, I'll try and get it off. <laughs> Shit, did I hit him? I don't want to think about this. Yeah, you're next, you hopping maggot! What makes you think I want your advice? Shit. Everyone's trying to tell me what to do. Ghosts, aliens, people. They're never gonna stop until they're all dead. Except the ghosts. Oh! Motherfucker! You're in on it too! And you! They ambushed me. They are getting more intelligent. That was an honest to God trap. I think the hopper was just bait. He lured me in there. Well, that's one problem solved. I guess I hit him after all. Oh, come on! Shit, maybe he ran in there. Well, will the guard really help me after what I said? He might be too stupid to be offended, but he may not even know the code. Screw it, I don't want the drama. I'll take the shaft that looks like an exposed rib cage. If I have to wrestle with the maggot thing in here, I'm pretty sure I'll remember that the rest of my life. I mean, I'm gonna remember a lot of this, but some things cut deeper than others. Oh. Wide load coming through. Everybody back up. Uh. Oh, shit. Looks like the bridge clearance was too low. Maybe he'll smash a way out of here and I can just follow in his wake. And we have locked blast doors here too because apparently we anticipated this sort of thing. I mean, the ceiling was built high enough for him. You could perform a full trapeze act in this room. Well, this is pretty convenient, really. Yeah, why not? I'll give this a try as soon as the electricity dies down some. Then I won't be stunned before dropping 20 feet. Chugga 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 Ah, that's better. But now we have an air vent dragon. Wait, no, too loud. Fuck you! I hate you and I'm gonna go kill your whole family now! You know, the joke's gonna be on me if I find out later that these things actually taste good when cooked and we're raising them in a few years. But I just don't see the- <laughs> Oh, lucky. I should do something. I'm kind of freezing up here. What am I doing? This is good, I think. No, this isn't working. Let's do it some more. Come on, God. Get out of there, moron. Oh, fuck. This is bullshit. 
Everything I've been doing up until this point was so I would not be in this exact situation. But none of it matters because giant aliens are determined to fuck me any way they can. Ah! Oh, that's it. Now I'm dead. I am dead now. Nobody's gonna know how awesome I am. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? How did you turn into three people? What? I hope those people in the Lambda the Lab can get this under control. Get what under control? Me? I want answers, asshole. Is this a thought experiment? Am I in a simulation right now? Is this drug-induced lucid dreaming? I know I'm not dead. Looks like witchcraft to me. This is a cabal. You summoned me here as practice for a demon, right? Say something! Well, the dimensional breach is definitely transmitting organic matter. The fuck? You think this is a simple experiment? You think I'm just a test subject? <laughs> well, I killed your leader. What do you think about that? You're dealing in forces you're not prepared for. What do you think a demon would have done to you? Share his lab notes? Stupid. Well, don't look at me. Okay. Demon summoning idiots. I didn't even mean to shoot that guy, but they literally forced my hand. They shouldn't be surprised. You mess with the Freeman, this is what happens. Okay, locked. Uh, well, what's this? More black magic, no doubt. Okay, I'm just gonna touch this quick. Whoa! Shit! No! Those bastards did it again! I'm gonna kill them! Wait, no, I've been here before! Yeah, this makes no sense. I touched this thing. It's harmless, right? Yeah, nothing. So what's going on here? This is the same thing, right? Or are they different? Well, here, I already... Oh! Shit! It's a teleporter! We invented fucking teleporters! The new age of man begins with me! And teleporters! Oh my god, I am dizzy from this or maybe that's because i'm spinning i've gotta try it again does this work it's orange oh so this is what it's like to be a ninja amazing wonder what the power source is or why they hover yeah i have a lot of questions nice nah. like is this star trek style where it's transmitting my matter as energy and reconstructing it on the other end or is it just creating an exact duplicate of me and I'm really just committing suicide over and over? Hmm. <gasps> no, I don't feel dead. But am I me or am I Gordon number six? I might not know the difference. Well, I should continue either way. Even if that means making sacrifices for the greater Gordon. I mean, I can't think of a cause I believe in more than that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> My knees hate me. Why would they put the exit point there? Especially when there are rotating platforms. Why are there rotating platforms? It's not like they're needed for the teleporter balls. They're all over the place. Yeah, what the fuck? Look at this place. All that's missing are the bobbing horse rides and calliope music. There's no goddamn reason for this. We've invented teleporters. That's fuck you pay me research. We don't need to pad our costs with high-tech carousels. Oh, I get it. It's to double the experiments. So if the teleportation doesn't make you vomit, then the platforms will. Fuck. No, not that one again. <laughs> don't drop me. Good. Hey, how does the teleporter know to teleport just me? I didn't feel any air moving with me. Maybe it detects... Oh, joy. More radiation leaks. This is a great place for a teleporter junction. <laughs> ah, fuck. Where is it? You know what? You can die down there slowly by radiation poisoning. That works just fine for me. I'm happy to conserve my ammo. Of course. All right. Let's do this. Oh. All roads lead to Rome, huh? Seriously, why do we have so many radioactive waste problems? Like we can't find a better place to put it out here in the middle of the desert? Okay, this time, let's do it right. Whoa, shit. Yeah, that's a great start. 
Okay, now here's to hoping it doesn't teleport me to just a random green ball. Okay. Yeah, this is a great place to put that pipe, too. Maybe I'm expected to lay flat spread eagle, because that makes as much sense as anything here. Oh, these are numbered. I didn't notice. Oh, you again. Okay, time for dance lessons. Yeah, one, two. Ah, you losers can't dance. I don't know why I expected otherwise. Oh, there's an escape route. Excellent. Is this a bunker full of provisions? I'll take canned food, dried anything. Hey, wait. I've been here before. This is the other side of that supply room. Yeah, this is another one of those rooms with creative architecture that was designed for giant spider people. Because that's the only kind of person who would find this layout convenient. Fascinating. Ah, shut the fuck up! You think we're cool now because I haven't killed you yet? You had teleporters and were holding out on me. I'm not gonna forget that. Ever. Hey, that's an excellent point. If we already had teleporters, why the hell was my team even doing the experiment? There's no point to the experiment if teleporters already exist. Blah! That's like testing for water when it's raining. So what happened? Did they make this off our research? Or were we duplicating work for no reason at all? I thought we were all the same company. Why are divisions backstabbing? Are we Microsoft? I'm sorry, I thought I worked at Black Mesa. Oh God. Oh jeez. Well, it looks like momentum from teleportation is not preserved. That's helpful, but that raises so many more questions. Like, wouldn't my heart stop and resume beating? Wouldn't each trip be literally a small heart attack? I mean, it would still be worth it, but what's going on here? Yeah, I don't feel it. No, fuck six, not that one. This is all that's left. Oh, wait, wait. What if this is a trap? Oh. Uh... Yeah, you wanted to drop my ass dead, didn't you? Yeah, this is the Black Mesa I know. I'm right! Now I know why it's all rotating. It's teleportation Russian roulette. An over-engineered way of proving you're hardcore. Perfect for scientists. These are chambers in a gun. Wow, that's a big one. Maybe it knows things. No, that would be too easy. What's going on here? Ugh. Whoa, what is... Hey! Oh, piss off! I can teleport too! Now what? You're not special anymore! But this is... This has the answers. I am ready. Bestow your knowledge upon... Wait, this is that stupid room again! Damn it! Why is this so special? What's the point of teleporters if you can only teleport into the next room? Can't be a prototype. You don't make nine fucking prototypes with the same design flaw. I'm leaving. No, there's nothing here. I know that. All right, there's some I haven't tried. Merry go round techno bullshit. So wait, how does this know to teleport me? Does it detect organic compounds? But that wouldn't make sense. Then I'd be naked like in the Terminator. The suit wouldn't make it. I mean, maybe the suit has some carbon fiber. I don't know. But the metal wouldn't pass. Maybe it scans everything that's not the ground or air and teleports that? But then wouldn't dust pile up at the exit? Yeah, what am I talking about, scanners? Okay, I haven't tried this one. I guess I could climb the fence. Yeah. All right, I already tried eight. The big teleporters are exactly the same. This one looks kind of fucked up. Okay, I'll try seven. Then if that doesn't work, I'll climb the fence. Yeah, scanners. We don't have computers that would even come close to scanning all the atoms in a human body. One fantasy at a time. Because that's what this is. There's just no explanation for anything. Ah, now I'm gonna wait so that other green ball doesn't kill me. Ah! Oh, I overprepared. It's been a long time since I've done that. Since every moment has been one worst case scenario after another. Looks like it still is. What am I looking at? Obviously, no one was ever meant to be in this room or walk in it, but here I am. Is this a reactor? The Geiger counter's not ticking quite that high, but shit. Okay, I guess... Fuck. I think there's a passageway on the other end, maybe. 
Yeah, this is helpful. All right, well, I haven't had enough spinning today, so this is perfect. Just what I was hoping for. Okay, let's go. Wait, shit, no, 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 no! It's too bad there's nobody shooting at me while I'm doing this. That would really complete the experience. Okay, jump, frogger from hell. That's good, jump. <sighs> Button! What did that do? Jesus Christ, that looks like a crematorium furnace. Well, the red levels are holding steady, so whatever's in there isn't any worse than what's already here. Maybe this reactor is powered by human souls. Yeah, That would explain why I've barely seen anyone. I still have doubts about how much science is involved with these teleporters. <laughs> what's that Arthur C. Clarke quote? Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic? Well, that doesn't rule out magic. Button one, hop to it. Oh yeah, that was smooth. Okay, so the plan is I crawl in there and somehow not die. If I start to die, then I'll stop. Yeah, I don't feel any heat. Oh, I'm here. I could have just... All right, no sense in lamenting the past. So do I take this? It probably just leads back to that same room, but... Wow, this door isn't locked. I didn't think that was possible. I was starting to suspect these were all welded pieces of steel that were stolen from the supports to the building, apparently. Is this a real door? We will never know. Ah, my entourage. You're late. I have no tolerance for tardiness. Unless it's me. But you are so obviously not me. Sleeping on the job, huh? Well, I'm not your boss. Carry on. Damn, I can't get over it. These teleporters still make no sense. Wouldn't canceling all momentum stop my brain too? I can maybe buy that this was a scientific breakthrough, but this is such a fundamental change in our understanding. It would take a series of breakthroughs. Huh. No, I think magic might actually have a case here. I mean, there was that coven that summoned me and I'm pretty sure I saw some candles, maybe a pentagram. Oh shit, he's packing. Okay, old man. Don't play with fire if you're not ready to get burnt. You brought this on yourself. Gordon Freeman, you finally found us. Wait. So this is the guy. We, we thought, thought you'd you never make it. Who are you? This is the supply depot for our first survey team. Quite a few handsome specimens were collected from the border world and brought back this way. Um, before the survey members started being collected themselves, that is. Uh... We suspect there is an immense portal over there created by the intense concentration of a single powerful being. You will know it when you see it. What? I hate to say this, Gordon, but you must kill it if you can. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, you'd better kill it. Don't you talk to me like that, of course, you- you owe us nothing, Mr. Freeman. Damn you straight. Far, you know as much about these creatures as anyone. You just have to Enough shoot them. To know that if you don't wipe it out, there won't be much for you to come home to. What about you, yeah. tough guy? So... If you're willing, my colleague is waiting for you at the main portal controls. He will open the gates for you, Mr. Freeman. Do hurry. Okay, listen. Don't forget to gear up. And I'll cover you while you're waiting for that portal to warm yeah, up. Yeah, whatever. Listen, this portal thing sounds great, but I need you to... Are you serious? Are you walking away as I'm talking to... Hey, Meatloaf, tell your friend with Asperger's I need to get teleported to Massachusetts. Or anywhere outside this of Freeman, what now? Jump module created expressly for navigation in the world beyond. I certainly hope you received long jump training because once you're in Zen, you will need it. I would advise you to practice before crossing over. Zen and the art of long jumping, huh? Didn't take you for a Zen guy. This thing would have been great yesterday. Oh yeah, I missed this. Man, I could tackle you so hard. All right, I'll deal with you later. First things first. I'm seeing a lot of ammo lying around, so I'm going to assume you laid it out here for me. Thanks, that's very forward thinking of you. I'm not even going to ask why a lab has so many small arms in here. I'm cool like that. And hey, I can't carry two, but I'll take the rocket out. Yeah, this is good. It's just as well I'm coming through here. You two would only hurt yourselves with these given enough time. Hey, it's another one of those Ghostbuster props. Why not? Does it work? Yeah, looks good. Well, you guys are just full of goodies. More shells? What is that? Well, I'm not touching that, but I'll take more explosives. Explosives keep my options open in a way nothing else can. 
Now what I really need is a wheelbarrow. But I'll just take every single thing I can carry. But that's the least this company can do for me. And it will do more. But one step at a time here. What's this? Oh, these are explosives. Wow, this is the most hardcore lab storage I've seen in my life. Hello. What's this, a prototype weapon? I hope it's a weapon. Let's see. There's a trigger. Yeah, it's doing something. Hey, there's a throttle. Wow, that kicks like a shotgun. This better be a weapon. I really should try this on a live target, but there's gonna be nothing but drama if I shoot this guy in the leg. Okay, I think I'm getting close to my limit. I can grab a couple things, but if I carry much more, I'm gonna need some duct tape. All right, tickle me bald guy, we've gotta talk. Oh, he's bowing, okay. Hey, forget this alien stuff. You need to teleport me to Massachusetts, all right? Massachusetts. That's simple enough, I think he can remember it. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I guess I am carrying some contraband. Man, it's too bad these teleporters aren't the duplicating kind. Then we could just tell it to not destroy me on this end and I could create copies of myself. Now the conventional wisdom is if you see a clone of yourself, you should try to kill it. But I think that's the view of a small mind. Hello, Freeman. Ugh. I'm up here. Practice your long jumps if you must, but hurry up. All right, all right, I'm coming. Just hold on. Ha. You know, a ladder wouldn't kill you. This catwalk has poor support as it is. There's too much stress on the beam. Actually, hold on. Is there an exit here? Like, is there a snack machine in the back or something? Because I could use that. No. Hey, I don't know what they told you, but I need you to teleport me to Massachusetts. If you can't swing that, just get me to the nearest city. Like, Los Alamos or Santa Fe would be fine. I should be able to hijack a ride, no problem. Right. I can open the portal now. The process is complicated, and once it's begun, I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? Yeah. I will begin. I'll get out of your hair. Just don't screw up. And if the teleporter could make a copy of me, I should have a plan how to unite myself in the future. So I need to have a plan now before I make the jump, just in case. I guess I'll leave contact info where I buried the gold. That'll work. What is it? Ah, shit! What is that? They can fly now? Ugh. Hey, you've got a few bugs in the system. I mean, a lot of bugs. How about fixing that? I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing it wrong. Right. I'm putting a lot more trust in you than I want to be right now. Jesus. You keep coming. You've hit a nest. What? Ah, ah! Do you need me to come up there? Because this isn't working! Shut it down! Just shut it down! You need to start over! I can't hear you! Hey, it's doing something now! Should I go? Ah! I'm not waiting! I'm gonna go! Don't fuck me on this! Ah, 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 ah. No! Christ. This is so fucked! What? This looks like deciduous. Well, I'm not in New Mexico, and that's what matters. Hey, a fire tower. Maybe I can figure out where I am. I mean, did they actually get Massachusetts? Is that where I am? I'd be really impressed then. <sighs> not a lot to go on. But hey, what a problem to have, right? I am almost ecstatic that my worst problem right now is being lost in the woods, approaching sundown with no food or shelter. I haven't heard one bomb go off or been shocked with electricity since I got here. Yeah, this works just fine. Now the no food thing is getting my attention, but I'm in the forest. Maybe I can kill a chipmunk and eat it. 
Huh, ruins. Actually, a chipmunk might be a problem. With my guns, it would just explode if I shot it. Whatever, I'll figure something out. Okay, this looks really old. And the architecture... Jesus, I might be in Europe. That could explain the daylight, though I kind of gave up trying to figure out what was going on there. You know what? I'm not complaining. Yeah, this suit has a tracker, right? I fun trying to find me in Europe, assholes! Oh, building. Time to introduce myself to the locals. Thankfully, Buckshot has considered universal currency. Everybody down on the ground! Give me all your money! I'm a political refugee! Oh. Well, maybe they left a bag of chips lying around. I'm surprised this place has power. Oh, a map! I can't read a damn thing! It's completely smudged from water damage. Why even hang it? So this must be a ranger station. I guess I can sleep here, but I can't eat these papers, can I? I don't hear a generator. The power lines must be buried. That's a good sign. Well, time to go find some chipmunks before dark. Hey, you know, if I started a forest fire, then people would come to me. No, maybe not. It's too damp. The woods aren't dry enough. Or I could just have my prayers answered. That's always my first choice. Jesus, it even has a backup can of gas. Okay, time to learn how to hotwire. Is this a test? No, I don't see anyone. Well, I just became a Jeep fan. I understand Jeep people now. Oh my God, the keys are in the ignition. <laughs> Some ranger is walking home tonight. This is beautiful. I'll find a surplus store to sell the rocket launcher and be back on my feet in days. That's it. I win. Hey, what's on the radio?